Uh, I'm doing the story mode of this game, and I'm actually having a blast. I'm loving it. Besides, mm, probably most of these duels being heavy RNG. Like here, we'll go to this one real quick. And hopefully this does what it did to me like three out of the seven times I played against this guy. But we'll see. Because this, this, this one, this guy right here, he's kind of bullshit. He's kind of really bullshit. We do have the Gamma the Magnet Warrior up front and center. Worst case scenario, he summons a monster, it kills my monster, then we use brain control, get summoned skull in the field. But I think that is what we'll do. We'll play this guy in attack mode. And is this a quick play? It is not. So it's safer in our hands, actually. Let's let's see how let's see how this guy's first turn goes. Alright, a drawing card. Right. Okay. The right leg of the forbidden one. Wonder what kind of themed deck this is. And he decides to go with the uh, the right leg. All right, he's, oh, another drawing card, and he's paying me life points. He has four in the hand right now. Hopefully these aren't four of the, uh, the forbidden one. This would have been good to have last time, so we'll do that. But we'll go ahead and we'll sacrifice for the seven skull instantly. You know, it's probably better to just save until he flips something, or we attack it, and then steal it, and then sacrifice it, but it's fine, it's fine. So we'll just attack. All right, awesome. That is kind of what I was expecting. Uh, and that's it for our turn. All right, he's taking a look at his deck, and I wonder what he's gonna take into the hand. Oh, he's gonna take, is he gonna take the right light? Oh no, he's taking red eye dragon. Actually, you know what? If he does play something face down, we might as well have it up considering it's a continuous effect. And then he can't play anything face down. This is better set, I guess. If he's gonna play something, that'll destroy a spell or trap card. He might waste it on this multiply. So it's worth putting down. I feel like we're probably gonna win. Well, we'll see because you, you could feel like you're winning, and as long as he has, you know, one life point left, he can just draw a card and, and win the game. All right. Oh, a, a drawing. Yep, there it is. Fuck this guy. I don't get this. It's, th these story-based duels are so RNG-based. You can play the best game of Yu-Gi-Oh in your life, but you don't get to, well, if, if you choose the option where you don't make your deck, you have no control over, you know, the RNG. Obviously, if you make your deck, you can control these kind of things, but you just, you know, you can if you choose the story mode deck. All right, we're gonna beat that guy though. You guys get the gist of that. Um, that's kind of how like I mean, half of these are all just RNG based garbage where you're dealt with like Yugi shitty base deck or you're playing as freaking Joey Wheeler and he just has a crap ass deck that you just have to get lucky on one time. <gasps> oh, we're about to see some Egyptian God cards. We're gonna skip all the story stuff. I don't care about that. We're here to duel. Okay, he just took a... Oh, oh, okay. I Can I read that card effect before we start doing this? Pay half your life points. Summon one Dark Magician from your deck. You cannot summon other monsters from your... Okay. Oh, wow, we just got brain control. Do we have anything to... We do have something to sacrifice it with. Oh, my God. Fuck you, dude. Give me that. <laughs> and then we're just gonna do this. <laughs> Get shit on. <laughs> uh, activate the effect of burn for it. Yes, we'll take our gaz gaz gazelle king or whatever. Cool. Uh, we will set this and 1400 attack. The defense of this monster is probably greater, but we'll attack it anyways. Oh, yeah, see. If he flips that over, it will kill us, which is annoying. But I guess we'll just sack our Karibo. Well, we have plenty of life points. We'll probably just chill. We're gonna use this. Maybe we'll summon another monster and we'll just be vibing. And we kill them all with our mirror force. Play another monster or sacrifice something. Is that just burn? Is this just a burn deck? Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be so mad! Two, t two turns in a row, this guy gets a Dark Magician on the field. And, I'm about and he summons a- oh my god! Yes, I would like to use my freaking mirror force. Get shit on! Holy crap! Dude, get owned. What is this? So we just gotta be conscious of 1500 attack or or more. So we might as well get this guy in the field. And then he'll feel real nervous about not sacking those 100 life points. And now he's top decking. Dude, we absolutely decimated this guy. As long as he doesn't pull like a pot of greed or some shit. He's really gonna sack the hit. Dude, you lost. I think this guy's cooler, so we'll attack with him. 
All right, well, that was fun. Wow, okay, well, we just one turn that guy. Uh, it's because we believe in the heart of the cards. Now we gotta play with Joey Wheeler's deck against freaking Weevil. Joey Wheeler is such a dog shit deck. It's gonna be awful. Might as well set these. And then this is a side. No, wait, we can just play this. Unless you tribute one monster. That's a big garbo. We're just gonna summon our cute little uh, baby dragon. And hopefully he doesn't attack it. We'll see what he does. He's gonna one turn summon Jinzo. Th this mother fricker. That's all right. That's why I put the grave robber and uh, kept the grave robber on deck. All right. When your opponent declares attack while you control a monster target, one face up monster on your opponent's control, except the attacking monster. Take control of that target until the end of the battle. Phase if you do, the it is attacked instead. Proceed to damage calculation. Now, oh, okay. I'm of half a mind to uh, sack the baby dragon, but it might not be worth it. This guy just dies. Yep. Okay, perfect. Now, do we attack his life points for 2,000 sacking our baby dragon? I think that we don't, because he's probably better to use as a sacrifice, and nothing else is going to attack it because he has such high, uh, high attack. Or maybe it was probably better to just get this guy's life points down as fast as possible. Do we attack again? I guess we do. Perfect. When your opponent declares attack on this card, what does it do? Equip to the attacking monster. No damage can is conducted. During each of your opponent's standby phase, increase your life points by half of the attack monster. Okay, in that case, we'll just attack with this and we'll just kill our baby dragon. That sounds good. <laughs> well, that was an easy fix of a potential problem. He's just playing as he gets the cards. He's just throwing down. What do you have in your hand? That's such garbage. During your end phase, you can change the battle position of this card. I mean, you might as well. Uh, this is probably better set than not set. Of course. All right, we're going to play the baby dragon. Sacrifice it so this guy can kill that guy. Now, if I attack with this guy first, he could wipe out that guy. Then I'm going to attack with this guy kill our baby dragon so might as well get the attack out first okay perfect that was a good idea except for i don't know what this effect does i guess it doesn't do anything i guess that doesn't count as a flip okay perfect that was a good idea to kill him as soon as possible now we're gonna attack with this guy sack the baby all right that's fine i don't care because he's about to lose it yeah might as well he's always safer in defense insect type monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack i don't think i have any insect type monsters so okay oh is one of these effects like oh every single person you put out is technically an insect now or something like that activating this card declaring one monster type all face of monsters in the field become that type that is okay insect well it's only these two so i don't care right or is it all forever and one monster type all face of monsters on the field all f oh that's that's annoying well, how do we get rid of that all right so you're like oh chris where are you taking the 2000 points of damage for oh chris you're such a genius yes i know i know pop nope that was easy he owned. Who cares if they're insects now? All right, am I at the point where I should just be snacking creatures or play it safe? I think we're probably safer with more monsters in the field because we can just like win next turn if we just chill out. And we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait till next turn anyway. Destroy all insect types? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Wow. Wow! Now we just gotta wait until we get something. Oh, stupid. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yep, we will attack. That was annoying. <sighs> get out of here with that shit. Fuck off! Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah, attack with the 700. Probably freaking useless anyways. Fuck off. <sighs> Oh my god! Alright, well this will be useful if he decides to try to attack us. We were so close to winning and now he's top decking. We're both pretty much top decking. Fuck off! Alright, give me something to sacrifice this stupid thing with. A time wizard. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it! Yeah, we'll use our time wizard. Tails. Heads. Fuck off! Are you kidding me? Fuck this stupid game! Jesus! Oh wait, you know this probably would have done a lot of good for us. Fuck Time Wizard! <sighs> That's 500 attack. Of all face-up monsters currently on the field until the end of this turn. Alright, so now we can get rid of the Petite Moth and we can attack it with its zero defense. Oh my god, why is this game going on for so long? This is so stupid! <laughs> I... I'm not... I'm just gonna summon it? I'm not going to use its stupid ability again. We'll attack. And we'll see what this is. Perfect. Kill it. 
<sighs> if two monsters in the field with 500 attack. All right, that seemed to be uh. All right, perfect. A monster. Screw it. We'll use this effect. It heads again. Let's go! All right, that's what we're freaking talking about. Now we summon our monster, and now we attack. This should have ended like 50 turns ago. Bug spray. Oh my god! Why? All right, we definitely can't attack, right? Okay. <sighs> Fuck this combo. It's so annoying. Can he not attack either? Your opponent controls. Whatever, kill my time wizard, I don't give a shit. All right, I don't know how to get out of this combo until we get like, I don't know, another grave robber or whatever, which would basically like kill us. We just gotta wait for something to pop up. There we go. All right, now let's destroy the card that matters. So I'll let them play thinking that they're in the green. All right, he's ending his turn. Perfect, he left that thing in attack position. All right, now we're gonna destroy the one that matters. We're gonna destroy this one that turns us into Ensex. And he's gonna summon another one! Are you gotta be freaking kidding me! Fuck off! We just paid 2,000 life points to get rid of this one, just so we can have another freaking one. Oh, and I could have bet this is just another one of those Ensex stupid things. We're gonna lose! We're gonna freaking lose. I hate this game. Hopefully he can attack us and then we can catch him off guard with the uh, with the graceful, graceful dice. It relies so much on chance. Oh, of course he had that set. Oh my God. Or do we have any actual trap cards that we don't have to pay 2000 light points for? All right, let's get another one of these out in the field. Alligator sword, ultimate dragon. We use polymerization on all three alligator swords. Oh. He has less cards than me, so maybe he'll run out of cards first, and he will lose. <laughs> Holy shit. Please, sacrifice some monsters and attack me. No, stop playing monsters in defense position. I'm, I'm losing my mind. 39 turns. What can we possibly revive that would help us? We can get the time wizard out, pop all of his monsters, if fate is on our side. If it's not, then we just lose. What about his side though? Let's take this into account. I think this is a good idea. Let's use the monster reborn on the parasite. I, we were so close to winning and then he just started turning all of our freaking Pokemon into it's a freaking insects. Oh, we can't. How do we flip it? We can't flip it. Fuck. Uh, we can't flip it. Really? But Monster Reborn doesn't say if it is face up or not. Well, there was an idea there. We can't flip it back over. We can just change it to attack or defense. So I'm just gonna let this guy kill it. I don't give a shit. Fucking Christ. You have to be kidding me. Fuck off! Is there anything in this shitty deck? Dude, you have to remember, I'm not, I'm not losing against Weevil. I'm losing against, I'm fucking piece of shit Joey right now. Uh, 15, 2000. This would kill me. So let's see what we got. It says the monster was sent to the graveyard. This one didn't trigger this yet. And if I lose because of this fucking bullshit, a card has been sent to the graveyard. That's it. Okay, I don't care. It is the battle step. Activate the effect of a card. I don't care about the battle step. I care Care about enter damage step activate the effect of a card yes because we want to change this card yes are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me the fucking damage step is not the actual declare declaring of an attack why is this not working so now i have to chain this shit I fucking hate this game. You have to be fucking kidding me. What is damage step? If it's not the declaration of an attack. I don't get this so stupid. Clearly I want to use the fucking ability that would save my ass where I change into defense mode. All right, now watch this. Now I'm about to like one turn his ass. You destroyed my card. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's going to negate anyways. Should I, just, should I just pop the time wizard? Wouldn't that be funny? Could try attacking it. Getting rid of this is quicker would be better. But we'd have to probably sacrifice not only the grateful dice, but also the, some, the skull dice. Or we can get the time wizard out there. Let's get the time wizard out there. Fuck it. Heads. Fuck yeah. All right, so what the hell is the declaration of an attack? All right, the hour was pointing at is declared battle active. Should we lower his attack or raise our attack? I say let's lower his attack. Because worst case scenario, we just raise our attack with the uh, with the dice. We just roll our dice. 
That is not enough. I mean, let's save, let's save, let's save the time wizard. I don't know why. There we go. Well, it kills him too, which is nice. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. I mean, was it worth it? Probably not. No, not this shit already. I can't deal with this shit. Should we try it? Let's try it. Fuck it, you know? Heads. Let's go. <laughs> oh, well, fuck you, I guess. Oh, wait, the grave robber is probably better set. Yeah. Oh, we got nothing on the field. We do have the uh, scapegoats out there, just in case, I guess. You actually found your grateful dice. Let's see if I can find mine real quick. Ugh. Dude, anytime, any place, I have these two unopened speed duel decks, and I will duel you to the death. I remember one of these guys is like Yami or something like that, and the other one is like, I don't know. Gremblor. Speaking of the uh, man of the hour, look at this. That's our boy right there. First edition. I mean, it's crinkled the fuck because I didn't take my, care of my cards as a kid at some point. Oh, dude, the Thousand Eyes are strict right there. That's that's the that's the man. Injection Fairy Lily. Awesome card. I think this is probably one of the more collectible ones I have. Oh, look at this guy. Time Wizard. Wizzy Glizzy. No, this is the one that we got on that TikTok. Time Wizard of Tomorrow. Oh, one of my favorite cards is the uh, Gold Foil Dark Magician. This card's fucking awesome. I love that thing. I got one of those, the, the recent tin that comes with like all five Exodias and the Egyptian God cards and stuff like that. Dude, there's so much freaking power in my hands right now. I am undefeatable. Oh, and this card, my favorite card ever. If it'll focus, if it'll focus. There you go. The best card ever. Yeah, here's the Grateful Dice. Yeah, nice. Uh, EDS 02, 002. We'll come back to this. All right, we're not locked up yet. We can still attack. With 1200 attack, I think we'll be able to survive any insect defenses over there. Well, fuck. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Your life points by half of the attack. Okay, so we'll just get 600 life points per turn. That's annoying. And for the love of God, give us a monster that we can sacrifice this stupid boy with. Yeah, I'll probably use Grateful Dice on this. Actually, no, I'll let him, I'll, I'll let him kill that. Yeah, sure. Choose the one that'll, that'll give you your life points. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll take the 200. By all means. You didn't even attack the one that's like free to go. Let me summon my boy. Attack him. Knock that. Then we still have a wall of 2,000 and 2,000. Any point he can summon the queen and kind of just wreck our shit. And we kind of have nothing to bite against that. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Should we just pop the Grateful Dice and just kill that thing? Oh, well, we pop the Grateful Dice next time. Well, he could attack us if we use it now and be proactive about it. That might be better let's let him attack it and use our magical arm shield see hopefully you're seeing why i love these like challenge the story mode so much it's 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 really good i like using the old cards things are gonna get a lot crazier as we go through the seasons so this is the battle active i would like to yep this one activate the effect select the monster we throw one of those in your face you just put that right there he takes 500 oh wait was this was this the right idea is this gonna go back to him i don't think this was the idea oh so this would be okay now we have something to fight against the the queen let's see if we if we get a six then at least we can kill one of the uh one of the pods five do i kill myself trying to kill one actually no it's gonna do nothing huh <laughs> well then we're lucky to get the five well let's take the free 500 uh, you know, it was really ambitious to hope for the six like that, but I mean, at least he only has two. Hopefully he sacrifices them for the queen. We use a bottomless trap hole and we call that good. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my God. Hey, at least we can turn these two into one now, I think. Like, is it even worth getting this fusion? Like, what does he even do? I mean, it'd be kind of cool to see the, uh... To see it happen, I guess. Where something can probably kill the baby dragon. There pro there's probably nothing that you can just really attack the Algear sword with. We might as well, I guess. It just ensures that he's not going to be able to throw something down that could just attack it and attack, attack the baby dragon in attack position. Or maybe I should have sound the polymerization until I got something in the hand. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. Do it. Sacrifice them. Do it. <sighs> Skull dice. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. All right. Did you finally get it? Nope, you didn't. Hopefully, he finally has it, so we can summon. Oh, here it is. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get freaking owned. <laughs> All right, that was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Uh, you bad weevil? Good cry, baby. Left the perfect space for us to activate this card and hopefully get a monster. Joey's the worst deck builder of all time. All right, who would I get rid of? Let's get rid of this and get rid of this. We can try our luck with the skull dice. Actually, no, wait, we can't attack it. All right, let's keep going. We're just top decking again. I mean, we can make him take damage by attacking us. We put this guy in defense. Like they gave me the deck and he doesn't have the tools to like play against the the other story deck. It just doesn't make sense. Like usually in every single one of these duels, they at least give you the tools for success. This one is just like, have fun out there, kiddo. Like I guess there's some stuff that works, like giving me grave robbers and things along those lines. All right, I have more cards in my deck, so he could he can top deck his life away. I don't care. Now this is an interesting proposition. It's really not worth it. If all of my cards get destroyed, that's like it. I have nothing. I'm not even, I don't even want to play this guy. I kind of want to just throw him in defense position just to have more fodder or hold him in the hand. Oh, never mind. I can't cancel this. I guess I just have to throw him down. Well, hopefully we get the polymerization next turn and we can, I don't know, Thousand Dragon. Yeah, I really don't know what the game plan here is, is, is here at this point. Oh, he did the flip. He did the flip. No, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're already insects because you're stupid card but you know whatever so what happens if he can't get he says he's got special summon to the field what if he just can't oh and shuffle it so it's somewhere in here now well all right we'll tackle that when he gets to it i guess yeah i don't know what to do i just uh you know hopefully he runs out of cards before i run out of cards at this point this is super annoying oh it's a wind type yeah you know what fuck it i don't want you to kill that guy was that enough oh yeah that was enough uh, oh, what? Oh, I don't even know what happened. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> There's a chance I throw down this time wizard right now and just say to end it all. But we're not going to do that. Not that self-sacrificial. Sure wish I could attack or had any cards that destroy other cards or other spell cards. They definitely didn't equip this with the tools that you need to win. This is so stupid. Does he have a DNA surgery in here already? Because then maybe we can at least ensure that he won't attack us. I'm fine with this. Oh. Uh, what do I have? Grave Robber? I guess we could just take out Eradicating Aerosol again. Could try throwing out the Time Wizard. See if Time Wizard works. If Time Wizard doesn't work, then we use the Grave Robber. That is what I think we're gonna do. Kind of wish we attacked any other one, but we'll use the Time Wizard in hand. Oh, it summons a token. All right, that's fine, I don't care. Don't get about heads. Fuck you, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, well, we didn't have to pay the 2000 life points to use the grave robber. Hopefully he plays the uh, Typhoon destruction card or whatever soon. But I'm tempted to pay the 2000 life points to get the freaking graceful charity. He's top decking just like me. Honestly, let's just, let's just take the hit. <laughs> this is so stupid. I think we're literally gonna have to do it so he runs out of cards first. Like that's just gonna have to be the play. I don't think there's anything in this deck that can actually like do anything. <laughs> Joey, why did you make this deck? Who gave you the right? After this, you should never touch cards ever again. Oh, thank God, yeah. I do not care if you kill my scapegoat. So what is this? 14, 14, 14. Potentially could win right here if we don't mess this up. It'd be 5,700 life points. Well, we have to burn through this guy as well. But if we also do the grateful dice as well, with the potential of 600 each, that could do it. And the kunai with the chain. But I have to guess what this is. Okay, he can't flip the insect barrier. He can flip the DNA surgery. So what we do, everyone, everyone is in attack position actually it's probably worth it to sacrifice just to get the extra little numbers up then we play the gate grave robber we get the mystical space typhoon now we play the mystical space typhoon we choose insect barrier insect barrier gone we can attack okay let's equip this to this guy yes perfect graceful dice five awesome Okay, battle face. Attack this. Bam. Oh, I didn't take this guy into account. 
I think we should still be fine though. No, we won't. Fuck. Well, we just do as much damage as we can right now. We were so close. That's all right. That's all right. He has 500 life points left. He has 500 life points left and we're killing it. And if he attacks us, we use the magical arm shield. That should do it. He may get another one of those spell cards right onto the, uh, you know, yeah, we'll get these guys in defense. Oh, we're so close. Oh, he wasn't able to get another one down. Oh, thank God. We attack with our big boy. And that's it. Oh my God. Freaking finally. Fuck that match. That was horrible. I can't believe the, 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 who's the madman who designed that? That was disgusting. <laughs>